Hello everybody and welcome back to Zach's MRE Review Channel. As you, as you know, we're in a series of videos here looking at the Minotaur Ration, uh, Minotaur Trading Company, um, the Poseidon Ration. Before you so, start, why don't you show them though, by, by the way, uh, about that spork, what you found out about uh, the spork. Well, yeah, okay. Uh, that but uh, so if we go back to, to the first video, which um, will be numbered video number one, uh, you'll see the actual unboxing of the entire thing. So once that's, uh, so once you watch that, then you'll understand why I'm doing just these tins and this little pouch and, and so on and so forth. But to add a little bit more onto that first video, once you watch it, you will see this, this little guy be unboxed. One thing I noticed about this little guy is, when you put the lanyard on it obviously, but this actually comes off. And it's actually a rather, relatively sharp knife, a bottle opener, and it's even got a bit of serration here. So if you need to cut something like a saw wood or something. So that's actually what this thing looks like. So there's a spork on one end, a knife, a bottle opener, and another knife here. Along with this, which is a distress whistle. So all in all, actually, this is one of the one of the coolest things I've gotten out of a ration, to be quite honest with you. I like this. This thing's pretty nifty. All in a nice little, a nice little case here. Oops. Shit. Put it down, down. There we go. So that's it. But anyway, back to the point of this video, we're just opening up these guys. So we'll start with checking out what one of their coffee packs looks like. Open it up, we got a piece of cardboard with adhesive. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Um, to hold the thing so you don't burn your hands maybe? Possible. We got our unfortunately deep rich coffee. Have a, a pouch of sweetened condensed milk, thank God. <laughs> We got extra creamer in the form of powder creamer. And we got a sugar. And that's it. And the nice thing with this too is, I just noticed this is a gusseted bag too. So you could open it up, push down that bottom there, and it sits right there. And I guarantee, you know what? This is the handle. Told ya. That would make hot. sense. Yeah, see? You're putting hot stuff in there. And then you got your measurements here so you can make a, a smaller coffee or a larger coffee. You stick this bad boy to the sides and you actually literally have a cup. That is awesome. That is actually really cool. I'm, I'm genuinely pretty impressed by that. I like that. It's little. It's, it's, it doesn't think, take much. Yeah, and, and you think it's a little stupid, but when you're out in the field and you don't want to burn the hell out of your hand get, having a coffee or something, it's an awesome little innovation from a simple piece of cardboard and two pieces of double-sided sticky tape. So that's that. So next, we have a tin of fire tinder. Probably just like cotton or something, but we'll take a look. And it's exactly, it's like shredded up cotton. Type fibrous material. It's probably soaked with something, feels like it is. It smells like it is. I'm not sure what, but it's probably... Got kind of wax or something in it, but there's that. Move these aside, those are a little bit different. These are our spice kits. Again, watch the first video. You'll uh, be up to speed then on all this. So, this one, by the way, you know, that's number two. Let's do these in order. How about that? This sounds, this sounds like a good idea. One, there's one. Okay, so now number one. Look at those little vials. That's so cool. That is so neat. What are those? Spices. Spices. Oh, wow. We have garlic salt. Oof, it's hard, to, it's hard to read on the camera these lids, but this one here is garlic salt. Yeah, honey. As always, as in all, like literally all my other videos, Munchkin Baby is off on my side here. 
talking to me while I try to make a video. And she's trying to distract me by her overwhelming levels of cute babiness, which works a lot. So. Or is the mascot of your channel. Yeah. She's, this is crushed red pepper. And yeah, I'm thinking about making, like, getting some kind of like logo going or something like that for the channel and, and the page and all. And I, I think I'm going to, at this point, have to include baby Nora in that because she, her, her noises are so, uh, a background, like, uh, she's in everyone. She, so she's like synonymous with the channel at this point. So anyway, the curry powder. And lastly, Italian blend seasoning. These are all in nice, you can hear it, nice glass vials, a pretty sturdy thing. So that's number one. This was two. So here we got cinnamon. Cayenne pepper. Cumin. Or as the wife calls it sometimes because she can, can't pronounce anything, she calls it cumin. Which <laughs> I think is no. funny. No, I don't. You do. And lemon pepper. And at this point, uh, wife is sitting directly next to me and she just picked up Munchkin Baby. So Munchkin Baby is only about six inches out of frame here. And she's leaning over as far as she can trying to get at what I have on my table here, what we're going through. <laughs> it's pretty funny. She is too cute as far as babies go. This is number three. And now for everybody at home who's wondering, here we'll give a little, we'll have a leaner in. Here we go. There's her hand. There you go. There's baby hand. There's <laughs> Munchkin. That's Munchkin baby hand. I'm not gonna give you all the goods on the first time, so you're not gonna get to see the the, the now legendary baby baby Munchkin Nora. Not that quick. You got to You'll see her little by little. So you got a hand. You got a hand and forearm to, on this video. <laughs> so anyway, done goofing around here. This you get two of each. So these two are cinnamon and these two are confectionery or powdered sugar. Pretty cool. Yeah, it is. So number four. Now we're on to number five, uh, four, geez, we're on four. See, the baby distracted me. She was looking at me and I got distracted. She's just too sweet. She's too good to her daddy. Next up, we got here Montreal steak seasoning. That's Hells yeah. That's your this is favorite. one of my favorite all time seasonings. I don't think Canada or Montreal has anything to do with it. But just in case, let's go Canada. Quick side, quick side note, his, his quick side note, his favorite uh, carrots are freshly steamed carrots with <laughs> Montreal steak seasoning and she's giving while a, they're steaming. Giving away my personal life here. And then after they're done cooking, lots of butter. And we got granulated garlic, garlic powder. It's a great one. One of my favorites as well. We have minced onion. Ugh. I like onion powder just for the flavor. I don't like onions. And last, we got more crushed red pepper. So that's it for that one. So now, we're going to five. There you go. I think they thought of every kind of spice you could possibly. They did. Think of. These are great. Even, even like I wouldn't have never thought of powdered sugar, but. Yep. And you know, some of their individual meal rations and stuff through this company, through Minotaur, I was a little questionable on. And then still, they don't. They're okay. I don't think they're great. But some of their other ideas, like these, are phenomenal, and I can't, I cannot praise this enough. Perfect for camping. Because I mean, how how many times have you been eating one of these rations or, or any food? out in the field, hiking, in the military, wherever. Uh, or for me, I was a firefighter, so out on a wildfire, let's say. And you're like, damn, this doesn't taste good. Well, 
you got this now. Yeah. And I tell you what, when I was firefighting, I never thought to carry like seasoning in my pack or anything like that. But this little guy here. One of those would be perfect. It's small. It weigh, doesn't weigh much at all. Tossing this in my, in my uh, day pack for when I was out in the woods would have been awesome. And I totally would have done it. So, Minotaur, good. Good call on these. I'm genuinely impressed. These are awesome and I recommend them. Again, not a paid sponsor. I don't get anything at all from this company. The company probably doesn't even know I exist, to be quite honest with you, and that's fine by me. I don't care. I still enjoy their stuff. So anyway, this one here, we got buffalo style seasoning. There Very you go. For us, we like that. Oh, I love stuff. buffalo and spiciness. We got Western barbecue spice. No. Sorry, I had to talk to my son off screen. Tell it was an easy question to answer. This one here is taco seasoning. Love tacos. And lastly, we got Cajun seasoning, which is guaranteed to be spicy. So I bet if you mix the taco, buffalo, and Cajun together, uh, you can put yourself in a latrine for quite a while. I look forward to doing that to myself. <laughs> got kit number six. And on this one, we got more powdered sugar. Cinnamon maple sprinkles. That's interesting. Sounds delicious. I love cinnamon. I like maple. I like oh, the sweetness. Uh, we got sesame seeds. And we got rosemary garlic. Ooh, that's my, I love rosemary garlic. I don't like it's rose. So I'm not a big fan of rosemary. I love the, I so, love the combination Boy, that will not focus in garlic. on that. Anyway, so that's that one. And lastly, we got number seven. So there's seven of these, by the way, if you weren't counting. And last we got, ooh, butter powder. That's interesting. Hi, honey. Hi. As you can tell, the baby wanted my attention off camera here, and she was going to get it one way or the other. And she's <laughs> smiling at me, and she is now going to receive a kiss. Mwah. Love the baby. So, anyway. Oh, we got Worcestershire sauce powder. That is awesome. That is awesome sauce, literally. We have soy sauce powder. That's awesome, too. Two of my favorite sauces right there. Children. Agreed. And lastly, hell yeah, Parmesan cheese powder. This is probably one of my favorite kits right here. <laughs> so that's it for those ones. Next up, we have our other two kits. This one is our extreme accessory kit. Let's see if it's really extreme or just a regular one. I'm excited to see what's in that. You know, makes it extreme as I drop it. Ah, oh, right there makes it extreme. More Smarties. I'm Hell getting, yeah. I'm getting the Smarties that came out of that. Oh, honey, they won't help you. They're, ah. they're, going, to, they're going to make you dumber. Lastly, we got, oh, we got our MRE matches. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Oh, there we go. These are true lemon and true orange. True, uh, true lemon, true orange. And there's lime. True lime. So two of each. Lemon, lime, orange. Yeah. Mm, two, two peppers. Two salts. Two more sugars. We got two more of these drink mixes that I don't like. Fruit punch and orange. Two creamers. Yeah, baby. She's doing a lot of talking. Two coffees. And two toothpicks, individually wrapped. So that's our accessory pack. And lastly, let's see if we could survive in the extreme fashion. Hey, 
Did I baby munchkin? I bet you, how much, how funny would that be if there's another Smarties in there? Yeah, that'd be cool. So, here we go. If I could open it. Oh, there's a seal on it. Duh. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. All right. Oh, the compressed towel like the Canadian rations. Pretty Hell cool. yeah, I love these things. If you watch my other videos of the IMPs, I, I enjoy those. We got a uh, fire starter, the ferrous rod, and steel. Pretty cool. Try to start it. No, it's not. No, I can't do it in here. It'll burn it. Yeah, why well, do you want to start a fire in the so house? Anyway. Fire? We have more matches. These are the really good stormproof matches. So there we go. Got a little knife. A little razor blade knife. Got some first aid supplies. We got an alcohol pad. Here's our water purification tablets to use with those uh, plastic bags that you'll see in the first video. Some triple antibiotic ointment. After you eat all of this food and use all the seasonings like I described, here's some antacids. It'd be a good idea if there's anti-diarrheals in here. But... <laughs> nope, they weren't smart enough to do that. Got two packs of aspirin, which is an interesting choice because aspirin has the most limited use of all the uh, analgesics, all of the painkillers, due to its risk of uh, Bleeding and again kids kids can't take this either Tyl Tylenol would have been a better safer bet or even ibuprofen, but aspirin that's a weird one so Anyway, that does it for this video number two in our series on the Poseidon ration. I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always Please subscribe to the channel or like and comment on the video I look forward to and enjoy hearing from all of you and I try to respond back in a timely fashion if at all possible so as always stay safe out there keep your head up and we shall see you on the next video here at zach's mre review bye bye bye